With a big winter storm bearing down on the Northeast, people flying are the first to notice. The airlines are all telling us just about the, the same thing, that they will not be operating uh, later on Friday afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, there'll be no operations. They will not bring any airplanes in here. As of Friday morning, more than 2,600 flights have already been canceled nationwide. Our initial flight was canceled, and then we're trying to get on standby for Saturday. And earliest flight we can get booked on is Monday morning. Big storm is being called potentially historic. It's expected to bring 75 mile per hour wind gusts and could drop two feet of snow in much of New England. New York City is expecting up to 14 inches of snow. Philadelphia could get four to six inches. Another big worry for the Massachusetts coastline is the possibility of a huge storm surge flooding towns. People need to get out of somewhere and, and the, you know, obviously the water isn't too deep. We can uh, hopefully maybe we can still get to you. East Coast residents are stocking up and filling their cars. Well, there's several gas stations up the road that are out of gas. I actually came to this one because I didn't see a line and I had noticed the other ones had lines. Some Northeast residents are eagerly waiting for the snow. Definitely doing a snow dance, um, doing lots of snow dancing. Ski resorts in Maine say that after recent mild weather, the storm could give them a chance to do some late winter business. And this would be a ski trail here and they would just come ski up the trail here all the way out into the woods. Schools are already canceled Friday in Boston, Hartford and Providence. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.